Hi everybody, it's Miss Lisa from the St. Paris Public Library. Today is preschool story time and we're going to sing and have a good time so you need to grab your shaky egg. Here we go. Today I feel like shaking my egg. Hey, how about Today I feel like shaking my egg. Hey, how about Today I feel like shaking my egg. Hey, what do you say? Hey, hey, what do you say? All right, you ready? We're going to jump up and down. Today I feel like As quiet as a mouse, up on your tiptoes. Today I feel like tiptoeing. Today I feel like tiptoeing. Up on your toes. Today I feel like tiptoeing. What do you say? What do you say? Alright, you ready? We're gonna wiggle all over. Today I Shake it in the middle by your belly button. Shake it up high in the air. Shake it down low, way down by your feet. Shake it in the middle by your belly button. All right, put your egg down and we're going to get started. Today's story time is all about rabbits. All kinds of rabbits. We have pesky rabbits. We have helpful rabbits. We have too many rabbits. So we have a bunch of stories about rabbits today. So first we're going to start with our Spanish and we're going to count today and we're going to count to 10 in Spanish and we're going to use our fingers because I like to do that so I can keep track of where I'm at. So wiggle your hands, wiggle your hands, get your fingers all loosened up so we can count to 10 in Spanish. If you don't know the word, you say it right after me, and you can follow what I say, and we'll learn it together. How about that? If you know it, you can say it with me. Here we go. You ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Give me a wave. Good job, good job. Here we go. Seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Double wave, double wave. Let's do it one more time. Here we go. You ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. That's five. Give me a fiver. Good job. Seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Double wave. Good job. Now give yourself a double pat mm -mm -mm. and a squeeze. Oh, that's a hug from me to you. You're so smart. You're just super, super smart. So we are going to start with our first story. Those pesky rabbits. Bear lived on his own in the middle of nowhere, and that was just the way he liked it. So you can imagine how annoyed he was when a family of rabbits built their house right next to his. Look at him, he's looking through a set of binoculars. Soon after the rabbits moved in, there was a knock-knock on his door. Hello, Mr. Bear. Could we borrow some honey, please? We want to bake a cake. I don't have any honey, Bear said. Pesky rabbits, he muttered. Bear poured himself a cup of tea, then added a drop of milk and ten spoons of honey. He did have honey, didn't he? 
He was just about to sit down when, knock, knock. Hello, Mr. Bear. Could you help us chop some wood, please? Look, his doormat says, go away. Look at him, he looks really grouchy. He doesn't look like a very friendly bear. No, Bear said, I'm far too busy to help. After his tea, Bear had fallen asleep in front of his fire when, knock, knock. Guess who it is? What now, he growled. Hello, Mr. Bear, would you like to swap books with us? No, I would not like to swap books. Look, his sign says, do not ring the doorbell. He really is a grouchy bear. A little later, Bear had just started to eat his dinner when, knock, knock, hello, Mr. Bear, do you w w want to watch shooting stars with us? Look at him. He looks really scary. They look, look at that rabbit. He's really scared. He's like, uh, maybe we shouldn't talk to that bear. No, 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 Bear roared. What I want is to be left alone. Look at him, they're running. I think I would run too. He would scare me. So Bear got what he wanted. Then one day he heard a soft knock, knock. But there was no there were no rabbits at his door, just a basket. Inside was a cake, some wood, a book, and a note. The note read, Dear Mr. Bear, we know you have no honey to bake a cake, so we've baked one for you. We hope you can build a warm fire with the wood. That says nice and cozy. We also thought you might like to read our favorite book, The Hutch, Hutch Liker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's about stars, planets, and space. From your neighbors, those pesky rabbits. Well, that was nice. They baked him a cake and gave him some wood. Bear ate the cake made a fire with the wood, and read the book before bed. But he couldn't fall asleep that night. For the first time ever, Bear felt... What do you think he's feeling? <clears throat> Lonely. So he decided to do something he had never done before. What do you think he's going to do? He went to visit his neighbors. Look, he stacked a bunch of stuff on a sled and he's pulling it over to their house. Bear spent a lot of time with the rabbits after that. Showed them how to do honey, he's baking with them. And do you know something? He chopped wood and he's reading stories. That was just the way he liked it. And they're outside and they have a nice campfire and they're looking at all the stars in the sky. So at first he didn't want to have any friends and he didn't like those rabbits. Home sweet home. And there's one house and there's the other house and there's the rabbit and the bears all in between. Those pesky rabbits. That was a really good book. Have you ever played Simon Says where somebody has says, Simon Says... Stand on one foot, and you stand on one foot. Well, this is something like that, but it's going to do body parts, and you have to touch certain body parts, and it's Bunny Says Game. Here we go. You ready? Bunny Says, touch your elbow. So touch your elbow. Do you know where your elbow is? Right there. So touch your elbow. Put your hand on your elbow. Good job. All right, you ready? I'll put this one. Bunny says, touch your toes. Reach way down and touch your toes. Here we go, here's another one. Bunny says, touch your foot. Remember where your toes were at the tip of your foot, but your foot is in the middle, so touch the middle of your foot. Bunny says, shake your tail. Now shake your tail like a bunny. Bunny says, shake hands. If there's somebody there you can shake hands with, you can do that. Otherwise, you can shake your own hands. Bunny says, 
touch your head. Bunny says, touch your ear. Bunny says, jump. <laughs> Bunny says, touch your nose. Bunny says, clap. So clap your hands. Bunny says, hop on one foot. That means you have to pick one up and hop up and down. Ooh, sometimes that's hard, you can fall over. And the last one is, Bunny says, touch your knee. Were you able to do all of those? I hope so. That's a pretty fun game to do. Let's read another story. One more rabbit. Once upon a time, in a hollow tree stump, lived one excited rabbit with one loving mother and one loving father. Two helpful sisters and three not so helpful, helpful brothers. Look, that one's tying them up and he's playing a blindfold game. Four music loving uncles. They're all dancing and listening to music. Five busy ants. Look at that carrot cake. Get it? Carrot cake? <laughs> it's actually a cake made out of carrots. Six troublemaking cousins. Uh-oh, there goes the carrot cake. Seven impatient second cousins. They're fighting over a present. He opened a present. Eight merry third cousins. Look, there's a carrot pinata. He hit it with a stick and out comes a bunch of carrots. Two grooving grandmothers and two grooving grandfathers. He's doing some kind of break dance on his head. Four talented great grandmothers and four talented great grandfathers. He can do magic. They play cards. She does face painting, and she does balloon animals. Eight toe-tapping great-great-grandmothers and eight toe-tapping great-great-grandfathers. Toe-tapping means they like to dance or listen to music. Whoa. One delicious birthday carrot cake. It didn't last long. Look at all those carrots. And it has candles up on top of it. That's a big birthday cake. They were a big, warm rabbit family all in one clump. And they all celebrated together in a hollow tree stump with a little excited rabbit who was learning how to jump. They all lived in the same whole tree stump. But that would be really crowded, don't you think? There goes the rabbit with his birthday balloon. One more rabbit. All right, for those of you that have picked up the story time bags, you have a pair of socks in your bag and they should be clean. Hopefully you haven't been wearing them on your feet. If you don't have a pair of socks in your bag or you're not prepared for the socks, go grab a pair of socks. Clean socks because you're gonna put them on your hands and you don't want to be stinky, okay? And we're going to dance a little bit to the hop. All right, here we go. Clap your hands with the socks. Our socks moving. Keep them moving. Okay, ready for the twist. Twist. Twist your body. Keep your, make sure your socks are moving. Twist your body. Here we go. We're going to do the up, up, down. Got it? Let's do a little faster. All right, we're going to go side to side. 
Move your socks. Side to side. Oh, you're good. You're good. Let's go up and down. We're going to go round and round while we're going up and down. Let's go the other way. Now just dance. Oh, let's roll it. Roll your arms. Roll in your socks. Okay, let's clap. Oh, that's good. That's fun. Alright, let's read another story. Hi. The Hide and Scare Bear. There once lived a bear who was not very good. He didn't think about others or behave as he should. He picked his nose. He gobbled his food. Not a please or a thank you. He was horribly rude. But the worst thing was that his mischie this mischievous bear liked playing a game he called hide and scare. He would creep up on others and count up to three. Then jump out with a roar from behind a tall tree. Hide and scare, growled the bear, is such marvelous fun. And he laughed and he laughed as he watched them all run. So he jumped out and scared them all and then they all ran off. The animals gathered enough. Gathered. Enough was enough. Owl said to the crowd, we need to get tough. This bear must be